Hi everyone, Josh Gilbert here and welcome to Stock Break, where I give an in-depth analysis on public companies in under five minutes, breaking down their fundamentals and potential valuation. So let's dive in. What's the most crucial tech firm in the world? You might think of Apple, Microsoft, maybe even Nvidia, but the real answer could be one that you've never heard of. Enter TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. The behind the scenes powerhouse building the chips inside your phone, laptop, and even the AI supercomputers of tomorrow. Welcome back to another episode of Stock Break with me, Josh Gilbert. And we're gonna break down today what's often dubbed the most important tech company that you've never heard of. I'll dive into why this company is the backbone of modern computing and whether it belongs in your portfolio. A quick reminder though, before we get started, this presentation is for educational purposes only. It should not be taken as investment advice or a recommendation to buy or sell any financial instruments. And if you're not already, don't forget to hit subscribe to get all the latest episodes. So let's get into it. TSMC, it is the world's largest and most advanced semiconductor manufacturer. Unlike its rivals, it doesn't sell its own chips. So think about it as a chip maker for hire. It turns designs from customers like Apple, Nvidia, and AMD into physical chips at massive scale. It produces over 60% of the world's contract chips and over 90% of the most advanced chips used in smartphones, AI, and cloud computing. While you've probably never seen its logo on a product, the chips it builds are inside everything from iPhones to data centers. And what makes TSMC so dominant is that it's a neutral foundry model. So what does that mean? Well, it means that it doesn't compete with its customers. It just builds what they design. And that neutrality has won the trust of companies who wouldn't necessarily work with rivals like Samsung or Intel. A quick fun fact for you is that TSMC's clean rooms are 10,000 times purer than a hospital operating theater. One speck of dust can ruin a multi-million dollar chip. So plenty of cleaning going on at TSMC. On to its rivals. I mentioned rivals a few times, Samsung and Intel. These are probably the two names who stand out the most, but three run very different playbooks. TSMC builds chips for other companies and it stays out of design. Samsung also builds chips for other companies, but it also builds for itself as well. That dual role makes some customers a little bit wary. Intel mostly makes its chips uh, itself uh, and has also recently begun offering foundry services as well. But that is why TSMC holds over 60% market share and is the leader in high performance chip production. We do have other companies um, that are competition to TSMC, think SMIC or Global Foundries, they exist, but they focus on lower tech chips. So those that are maybe using cars or industrial equipment. So I think the big question we need to answer is how did TSMC leap ahead of those two tech giants? Well, it comes down to focus. Um, they've stayed purely in manufacturing and it re reinvests everything into pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Intel was once a leader. It fell behind when it hit delays in its manufacturing roadmap. And Samsung has also struggled with yield issues on its most advanced chips. Meanwhile, when we have TSMC, what it's doing is it's delivering at scale. It does it on time and with top tier quality, which is why even Intel now uses TSMC to manufacture some of its most advanced chips. It's a business model that scales beautifully and more clients means more revenue, which TSMC reinvests into better factories and better tech. And that cycle is gonna be pretty tough for any competitor to break. So let's dive into some numbers. And if we go back to Q1 2025, Fit rose 60% year on year. This was driven by strong demand in AI and cloud computing. And that is extraordinary growth for a company of TSMC size. Its biggest growth driver is now in high performance computing and not smartphones. That means that we're seeing AI chips for clients like Nvidia or chips for the cloud infrastructure of Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. The positive here is that margins are really strong. Gross margin was 59% in Q1, which just goes to show TSMC's pricing power and their efficiency at scale. But it doesn't mean it's all one way. TSMC is spending big, up to $42 billion in 2025 on new factories, including a big expansion into Arizona and Japan. And this is driven by customer demand for local production. While that sounds great and we're seeing expansion, the Arizona plant is set to cost 30% more to run than its plants in Taiwan. Over the next five years, that could mean TSMC could expect to see its margins trimmed by three to 4%, ultimately affecting its bottom line. 
We also have tariff risks out there at the moment. New US import duties could hit Taiwan Semiconductor with tariffs of up to 30% on Taiwan. And TSMC says that the impact is hard to predict, but it's watching political developments closely. The good news is that recent signs do suggest that Trump is more willing to negotiate. Despite all of this, though, TSMC has recently reaffirmed its four-year outlook, citing robust AI chip demand uh, and its cushioning against cost pressures because of its pricing power. It's also running a very strong balance sheet, low debt, consistent cash flow, and also pays out a dividend yield of about 1.7%. Shares have been pretty flat this year, uh, largely due to tariff concerns and geopolitical tensions. But over the last five years, shares have been up over 250%. And the long-term story remains pretty compelling given their market share. TSMC expects AI chip revenue to double with earnings growth of 30% this year alone. That's being driven by cloud giants racing to build out data centers and next-gen AI tools. In its latest update, management said it expects mid-40% annual growth in AI chip revenue through to 2029. That's massive, and no other chip manufacturer is well-positioned to capture that trend. As I say, there are still risks. We could think that the AI boom could cool if companies pull back on spending. And of course, there is still a bit of a political situation between Taiwan and China, and of course, those US tariffs as well. And of course, that localization into Arizona, as I mentioned. Um, TSMC is trading uh, what I would say a pretty uh, compelling valuation, 21 times forward earnings. As I say, pretty reasonable for a company that is so industry leading, so far ahead of competitors and with huge margin and strong profit growth. And according to Bloomberg, analysts are bullish. We've got 29 buy ratings, one hold and zero sales. Guru Focus also ranks its profitability at 10 out of 10, but does see it as modestly overvalued at current levels, which is something as an investor to be aware of. So while TSMC might not be a household name, it is the house that the tech world is built on. From AI to iPhones, it sits at the center of it all, and the road ahead looks pretty powerful, if not without a few speed bumps. That's it from me. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Stock Break. Let me know in the comments what you think about TSMC. And to stay updated on all things investing, follow us on all podcast platforms. Just search for Digest and Invest. Mm-hmm.